So after 110 days in the studio, we finally make it out into the sunshine. But I'll tell you what, Hobbiton is looking fantastic. The art department and the greens department have been working on it for nearly two years. The grasses have grown, the flowers are out, and the plastic ones have even bloomed. It's weird when you come back to a place that you literally thought you would never see again. This is a great spot. To be standing there with Elijah dressed up as Frodo, <laughs> it was the nearest thing I think I'm ever going to come to a time machine. This is actually the first time I'm stepping foot down into Hobbiton. I'll never forget that feeling of coming to Hobbiton for the first time. So much time spent in this universe, you know, with these characters and... And I keep referencing the fact that I turned 19 when I came to Hobbiton for the first time. <laughs> 11 years ago. I'm 30 now. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many feelings of nostalgia and history. This time around, they built it for real. So before, all of these hobbit holes were built using polystyrene. When the filming was finished, they tore it all down. And even though it's been available for tours and, you know, for people to look at it, we didn't have any of the hobbit holes here. Doing The Hobbit now, it gave us the ability to rebuild hobbits out of permanent materials. Materials that aren't going to deteriorate and we can carry on showing people what's involved in making a movie behind the scenes. It's all, I mean that's actual rock, stone, it's pretty amazing. Hobbiton is going to stay exactly as it is today, which is fantastic. So there's real wood, there's real stone, real bricks, and it's going to be here hopefully for decades to come. Yeah, no, it's, a, so it's, um, it's a great gift to the people of uh, so Manama and uh, as Minister yeah. of Tourism. <laughs> <laughs> This kind of living model village is just extraordinary, and you just totally believe this place exists. And that's because it does. Maybe I've smoked a little bit too much of this um, now. It's an authentic village. It's 100%, 360 degree, look wherever you like, little hobbit village. You're not really designing a film set. You're trying to put yourself in the mindset of a hobbit and figuring out, well, where would you like your house to be. There are 44 personalised hobbit holes and each hobbit hole has a different little details depending on their location. It's kind of amazing, the door's actually open. Hello? Hello? No, nobody home at the moment, they must be at the market. <laughs> Welcome to the set of the hobbit. So how did you get involved in this? My four daughters auditioned and they all missed out. Uh, and I got in. So I wasn't a popular father at that point. <laughs> you guys are up for stealing, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Big, big, big bag hobbits. Check this out. Oh, yeah. I like to get a nice comb over. Is this going to be in the movie? Yeah, we can cut that. That's fantastic. We've got that. <laughs> So we just finished our first week on location.